Do you want to get this score from Google's PageSpeed Insights, not only for one page, but for most of your pages? Well, in this video, I will show you how you can get that and speed up your WordPress with just one plugin. On top of that, I waited for about two months to see if it had any impact on my web core vitals and loading speed in Google Analytics. More about that at the end of this video, so stick around. Tip sweat punch. Hello internet people, my name is Robert and on this channel I help website owners to run and grow their online business with digital strategy tips, website tutorials and tool reviews. And as you might know, Google is introducing the Web Core Vitals as part of their SEO ranking factor in May 2021. This means speed might have a bigger impact on SEO rankings than before. Now nobody really knows how much this will impact your rankings, but I think it's better to be safe then sorry. So let's just uh, jump right into it by installing WordPress plugin called Nitro Pack. All right, I'm here in my WordPress uh, dashboard. And just before we start, I want to show you what my results were before that. So this is page, uh, page speed insights by Google. And I have a mobile 35 for my homepage and on desktop it's 71. And then for my most popular article, it's 54 for mobile and uh, 96 on desktop. The score you see here is achieved with Cloudflare Pro and a caching plugin. And now I want to see how well Nitro Pack does against this setup. So just let's install the plugin first. So you just go to plugins and add new. And then here just type in Nitro Pack. And then install now. And don't forget to activate it. Now, once this plugin is installed, you might need to disable some of the other plugins. So, for example, if you have another caching plugin or lazy loading or something like that. Just let's go to the settings. And you always get to the settings also from the left menu. So, settings and Nitro Pack will appear here. Next, we need to create an account with Nitro Pack by clicking on the link in the description of this video. And the great thing about this tool is that it's free for small websites. So if you have less than 5,000 page views every month, you can use this for free. The only caveat is that they do add their logo to your footer. So if you use the free one, you might have to uh, remove that logo with some CSS. So let's get started with the free one. And then just fill in your details. And once you fill in everything, just click on the almost there. And then just click on place my order. Check out successful, go to dashboard, and you'll see you have now a new website here. And basically all the uh, plans are per website and all the websites will appear here. So if you have multiple different websites and you use Nitro Pack for all of them, then you'll see them here. So they're already saying here that you have a Cloudflare and that you need to also have the Cloudflare integration. So this is uh, something specific to me, might not apply to you. So let's connect to the website. If you're logged into Nitro Pack and in the same browser you have also opened your WordPress, then this uh, integration is really easy because it'll do it automatically. Otherwise, you just need to enter the API key and also the secret into the tool. So let's head to WordPress. Let's connect to Nitro Pack so in the WordPress and it will connect automatically. So you won't need to do anything. So as you can see, it will also warn you if there's some plugins that are overlapping. So in that case, you just need to uh, disable them and I'll pause the video while I'm doing it. I've disabled the plugins that it suggested and now we can try it out. And you can see this is the Nitro Pack dashboard in WordPress. Uh, and here you have the op optimization mode and it's by default set to ludicrous. And you should keep at uh, this, uh, you can switch them only if you know what you're doing and if something breaks on your site, you can try the other ones. Other than that, I would keep it at this. You get the best speed performance if you keep this setting. And let's enable the cache warm up. And then you'll see here for 22 pages, do you want this cache warm up? Yes. Now it's enabling it. And cache warm up just means that it's going to create those cached pages immediately right now. So it's going to just start going through your website and create those static pages in HTML. And then when a user comes to your website and your server will just serve those to the users. With normal cache, you usually don't create these cached pages before the user visits. So the first user that visits a page, then the cache is created. Let's also look at some of the optimizations here. Let's click on this cogwheel and here you can see which pages will be cached. 
I actually want to cache everything, but if there's something special you want to disable, just do it here and go back to Nitro Pack uh, dashboard. Here you have the settings and here you can adjust some things. So exclude your ass. I want to exclude this one just because it's a tool that I need to keep out of the caching. But in most cases, you won't even need this. So I'm just going to do that. And most other settings, they're quite advanced. So if you need those, just uh, read through them. Another thing you should check that you have is that your HTML is minified, just makes the page a bit smaller. And if you're running ads on your website, you could also optimize those by checking this one. But for me, I don't need it. Just remember to save these settings. And now we just need to wait for the cache warm up to generate all those pages. And you can always check the progress if you go in the Nitro Pack dashboard, you go to optimizations. And when you scroll down, you should see a few of them optimized. If you don't see any yet, then just have uh, you have to wait a bit. I'm going to pause this video so that I have the whole website done. And if you have a big website, this might take some time to have all the URLs done, but it just runs in the background. And stick till the end because I'm going to show you not only this new score in, in uh, PageSpeed Insights, but also in Google Analytics on real users. So on real traffic, how well this plugin did. Wounding. Okay, so for me, this took about an hour. And for you, it could be a bit faster. I just have a lot of pages. I'm here in my Nitro Pack dashboard. And if you click on this optimization tab here on top, you'll see the same page I'm seeing. And here you'll see all kinds of uh, assets that have been either uh, optimized or not. So for example, for some reason, it was picking up my uh, something in my upload. So that's not interesting to me, but uh, you can see that there are pages that have been optimized. Some of them are just redirects, so it's not going to do anything with them. Uh, so what you can do is just filter out those that have been optimized. Uh, as soon as everything has been optimized, make sure just go to your website and check everything. So click around and see if everything is still loading as it should. So sometimes this uh, plugin breaks your website. So that's why you have to check that your front end looks good, that everything is in its place. So just click around, see what's what, double check that everything works. So for me, everything seems to be fine. I'm happy with everything. And uh, even my homepage, everything looks fine. Once I rerun the page speed insights, you can just go here and let's say, um, this is the article that I showed you before. I click on it and you will rerun the page speed insight just by clicking on this little icon here. And now once it's done, you'll see that here it is. It got 100 on desktop and 92 on mobile, which is really good because this page is actually super long. So if I go and check it out, you'll see it's a quite long article. As you can see, it just goes on and on. Hey, if this video has been useful so far, consider giving it a thumbs up because it really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Now, in my case, this tool is not a magical tool that all my pages went to 100 or close to it. I had a few that actually didn't reach the 100. So one of them is a very long page that I showed you in the beginning. And now you can see that the score for the new page speed inside is 68 for mobile. And then I have 79 for desktop. Actually, on desktop, it went down. On mobile, it went up from 54 to 68. So. I'm okay with uh, desktop going down because Google looks only at mobile right now. So I'm really focused on the mobile part. You just need to test this yourself because don't just trust me that uh, this will work for your website. You should always double check that it works for you. Now, I'll be honest with you. I was a bit suspicious about this plugin. I mean, are they cheating somehow? How is it possible that it works so well? But from what I understand, it's not so much that they are cheating. They just prioritize the right things because that's what Google is looking at. Let me show you in the data what I mean. So here you see my actual data from my website where I have about 5,000 visitors every month. And the dates are from March 1st until March 29th. And uh, I'm comparing with the previous month before that. So you can see that actually the average page load time has gone up. It's gone up by 17%. But then if we take a look at some other metrics, redirection time has gone up. You can see it's not that much anyway, but it has gone up. Then you have the, oh, this one is almost the same. 
average server connection time is actually now up by 150 percent which is a huge spike but in absolute numbers it's quite small but this is where the nitro pack excels they have a very they optimize their average server response time and in this case it's minus 44 percent and this is one of the key metrics that google looks at when they assess the speed and also the average page download time has gone up so you can see that a lot of metrics are actually up but the key metrics are down and that's why this tool works so well and that's why you get such a great score in uh, google's page speed insights another thing that you need to look at when you implement a tool like this is your core web vitals and this is from my website roughly the same timing and uh march 1st was somewhere here some here so i implemented the tool here you can see that there was not much difference so you can see that some of them went up in terms of i actually had more pages that are now in yellow i think it just indexed more pages not sure what happened there but right now i have no poor url so nothing is in the red for mobile and same thing for desktop i have basically all of my urls are now good urls and where nitro pack can help is with this core web vitals because it's not only page speed it's also ux and how the page loads so i suggest you try it out and then see if it helps you use the free plan for that if it helps you look at the data and then you can decide if you want to keep it or if you don't since you have now a faster website have you heard of a technology called amp so accelerated mobile pages well, nothing can beat the speed of AMPs because they are loaded from Google servers. But AMPs live kind of on the side of your normal website. More about AMP in the video right here. And in this video right here, let me show you how to make a technical SEO audit for free. Whoosh.